Fact, regular people are making full-time income selling maze books. This brand new 5-in-1 cloud-based app helps you create your own 100% unique maze books in minutes. It comes with commercial use rights, so you can profit by selling on Amazon KDP. Talking about this new tool that just came out from the Instant Puzzle Generator folks, it's called Maze Generator. You can see here inside of the tool, I'm going to show you everything inside the tool to include all the mazes that it makes. All the other features such as QuickBook Creator, the ability to upload your own images, the done for you backgrounds, as well as walk through all the settings that you can see here. Here's a neat little page that I made with some triangle mazes as well as a nifty little coloring page background. And you can see here that I have some coloring pages. And these coloring pages I'm going to give to you when you pick up Instant Maze Generator through the link in the description of this video. But let's go back to the sales page and scroll down and take a look at exactly what this is. Of course, we all know Amazon is real. It's not a gimmick, but you need certain tools. Now, maze puzzle books are popular and they sell tons of copies. If you create a maze book or an activity book, you can really do well in this space. And as you know, it's pretty simple, but it's not really easy if you don't have all the skills that you see here. And if you want to create mazes, a tool like this, is really going to change the way you do it and it's really going to change the options that you have as far as creating the mazes of course you can create them by yourself you can use online puzzle apps but they're not for commercial use or they charge you a fee and in option three you can pay a professional designer for your maze books and you can see the creators here these are the two guys that have created the software for you and of course it's the same team that created Puzzles Generator, which inside Puzzle Generator, you have Instant Puzzle Generator, Word Puzzle Generator, and now Instant Maze Generator. So to use Instant Maze Generator, it's pretty simple. You just click Access Now. Of course, depending on the version you buy, the base version or the pro version, you get different features, and I'm going to cover that. But let's go ahead and just Access Now and create a collection. We'll call this collection Mazes, and we will create that collection and then we'll click view. Then when you get inside here, you see the different types of mazes that you can create. You can click expand and then you simply start adding mazes. As you can see, the first maze there is added and then the solution is auto-generated. So if you were to come up here and you were to add a new page and scroll down and add a maze to that, you'll see that here you go, the page is generated, page one, one, page two one. The reason they do that is because you can add more than one maze to a page. So for example, if you wanted to add another maze here to page two, now when you scroll down, you're going to see page two one, page two two. Then you scroll back up here and you can see how you can control that. Of course, you can also click here and then you have other options here where you can change maze background color. Now some of these options, be aware, are part of the upgrades to the tool that you will have to buy after you buy the front end of the tool but understand that they're available to you to get as you can see there you can change the maze background go back to white here you can change the maze wall color by default it is this gray of course you could change it to full-on black or you could change it to any other color that you see there here you can change the maze solution color of course to see the solution you scroll down here you can see the solution for this square maze if I was to click this and change the solution color, you can see that it changes there on the solution page. And you click back on the maze. It also has a control here for aspect lock ratio and number of rows. So if you were to change this, say to 10, and then click the lock, you can see that it actually re-changes the maze from a square to a rectangle, which is quite interesting. Of course, put that back and then it goes back to the square. Of course, this is all resizable here, dragging and dropping there, moving it around. One quick note, if you click off the maze onto the page, your maze options go away. So you have to make sure that you're on the maze. You actually have to click it and highlight it. You can also show the solution here on the main page as well as the solution page. So if you needed to do that, this is an upgrade as well. And again, I'll walk you through all the differences because if you purchase the front end, you don't get some of these tools. But to really make the tool work, it's well worth buying all of the upgrades. Here you can select start the endpoints. Here you have the start cell. You simply just select where you want it to start. 
Then you select the end cell and then you select where you want it to start and then you confirm it. And then you have that change both on the puzzle as well as the solution page. Over here you have maze sizing. You can change the complexity on the fly to very simple, to very, very complicated. Of course, you scroll this down, you can change the, the size of the wall to make it thin or to make it thicker. And you're gonna see here in a second why that matters. And of course here you can change the solution as well. If you scroll down, you can see the solution here. And you can see that that line is changing as far as the thickness right there. So you have that to play with as well. Now over here, what you can do is inside of the page settings, you can select the page trim. You can change the different page sizes right here. You can see all the different ones. You can change the page numbering format. You can change it to one. You can see it changing over here, right here. Change to number one, page one of, page one of two. So you can control that as well. And you could say no numbering, so there's no numbering on the pages. And then you can also center align the page right there, or since the number, center the page numbering right there in the middle. You can scroll down here, you can show the page margins. So then you have the ability to actually see where the margin is, so you can control that when you're designing to make sure that you understand not to go outside of the margin. You can scroll down, there's also an option here to show solutions or not show the solutions if you don't need the solutions. And you can also check here, show puzzle numbers on solutions. You can actually get rid of the puzzle numbers on the solutions. Also, you can control solutions per page between one and eight. So we'll come back over here and what we'll do is we'll click on the solution page and then we will delete all the pages to start over because I wanna show you this QuickBook Creator. And again, this is an upgrade and I'm gonna show you that here in a second but I wanna show you all the features of the tool so you can understand the power that you have here. Here is a quick book creator. You can put the title of the maze pages right here. So for example, if you wanted to change this to best maze, then you can simply say, these are all medium mazes. You can select two rectangle mazes and then you can create the book. You'll see one triangle maze, one hexagon maze, one octagon maze, one circular maze. Go ahead, select create. Best Maze 1 Medium, you can scroll down through here. You can see it created the two square, the two rectangles or the squares. And then you can see that it created the triangle, it created the hexagon, it created the octagon, and also the circular maze, as well as the page right here with all the solutions. Of course, if you go to back to page settings and scroll down, number of solutions per page, change that to four. You can see that now it has two pages, or if you were to say two, now you can see that the solutions are two per page. So you can see there how powerful that is. And then at that point, what you can do here is you can come into these options. You can add a new page. You can remove a page. You can clone a page. You can bulk clone pages. Of course, these options, you have to look at the features when you purchase the front end. A lot of these don't come on the front end. You actually have to purchase the upgrade. But then you can move pages up, move pages down. Then you have a local download option and you can download as PDF, PNG, JPEG, the, all the pages or the individual mazes. The upgrade for PowerPoint, PPTX, and SVG, again, we'll take a look at that, but simply all you do is click download as PDF here under the download options. For the local options, there's also a global download option where you can click up here. So it's simple as clicking download as PDF. It downloads here in the corner. You simply click open. It opens up your PDF right there. And you can see that you have your PDF with your mazes as well as the solutions pages down there. And that's all you need to do for that. Again, you can also come over here and you could download maze as PNG or download the pages as PNG or download the mazes as PNG. So you could simply click on download mazes as PNG. And then you'll see here it downloaded a zip file. You open that. Then when you open that, you have just the one puzzle and the one solution as PNG. I'll go ahead and show you that right there because on the local option, it just downloaded the page that you were on. If you go up to the global option and you download pages as PNG, all the pages will download. You can open that and that's a zip file. You open up the file and then you're gonna see all the, page, all the pages as PNG with all the mazes to include the solutions. And you can see those right there. It's just that simple. 
So there's a link in the description to pick this up. When you click on that link, it'll take you over to this page. You'll see the video that you're watching now, as well as a get it now button, which will allow you to purchase this and you'll get over 200 coloring page images in both PDF and JPEG. And some examples or samples you can see right here of the images that I'm going to give you as a bonus that you can use inside of your mazes or any other books that you're creating. And all you have to do right there is get Instant Maze Generator by clicking this Get Now button. It'll take you back over to the sales page. You scroll down and you simply click Grab Your Discounted Copy Now. You'll buy it. And then here's what I want to discuss. After you purchase it, you will be presented with an offer for a new set of features or an additional set of features where you can create unlimited maze puzzle books because in the front end you are restricted to 100 downloads a month. So scroll down here and understand with this, with this upgrade you'll get unlimited monthly downloads. You can upload your own images to create stunning page layouts for your mazes. You can download individual mazes and complete books as edible PowerPoint files as well as SVG files. This also unlocks the unlimited color palette for all the text elements, maze walls, maze solutions, paths, and backgrounds. So scroll through here and make sure you understand what you get inside of the Pro Upgrade and the simple fact that you get to download unlimited puzzles because the front end is limited to 100 download per month. You can also add your own images right here. So you have the option there to upload the images as well as PowerPoint and SVG files. Also the bulk clone maze styles is available in this unlimited, as well as the feature that I showed you, the custom entry exit selector. This is a pro upgrade, so you'll need to do that to get that option, as well as all these different color options, as well as the font, and the ability to change letter, line, and spacing. So if all that interests you, again, make sure you understand exactly what you're getting by taking a look at all these options, and then understand that it is a one-time payment, and you simply click grab your discounted copy now, and you'll get access to that. Then there will be a third option that you can choose and you can actually get the maze backgrounds and I'll show you these, but I'll scroll down and just show you what these are gonna look like and then I'm gonna show you inside of the tool. This is what your maze page or the maze pages that we already seen look like. It's simply just the maze. What they've done is, is they created backgrounds for you that you can purchase. So when you come back into Instant Maze Generator, what you're gonna see here is done for you backgrounds if you purchase this option. And then you simply click one of the done for you backgrounds. It adds the background and as you can see, it's inside of the border. And then you simply go back up to your mazes and then you select a maze. And then what you can do is you can put that maze in there. Then you could edit this maze with the custom entry and exit points. So you could start here and you could end here. And then you could select confirm. Now you can see the entry and the exit points make a little more sense as far as where their hands are located. And then of course, here is where the maze sizing come in as far as the wall. You need to make sure that this wall matches the thickness of the line drawing. So for example, if you were to make this really thick like that, it's not going to match the line drawing in the background. So what you can do is you can bring that down and then you can really match that. And of course, you could always change the complexity. So if it was for kids or adults, you could make it as complex as you need it. Of course. As you change the complexity, you're gonna to have to readjust the entry and exit points, but I think you get the idea of the power of these done for you backgrounds that you have the ability to play with and you get that in the upgrade. That is the third option. And of course you'd come down to your page settings and you can control all that as far as page numbers. You could turn the page numbering off, that way you don't see it. You could also get rid of the page margins and you can see that you can simply click download and you could download that as a PDF. Then you open that up, and of course you have the raccoons and the trees, and then you have your maze, as well as the solution page at the end for a complete activity book. Of course, the upload option feature, you can also upload images if you purchase this feature. Another cool thing that you can do with this tool is you can take this image or certain types of images and you can actually convert them into mazes by simply clicking that maze button. And you can see there, it converted that image into a maze. Take note that this doesn't work with every image. It needs to be able to render the inside of the image to generate the maze. But then once you have that, what you can do is you can delete that picture, and then you have the unicorn head, and you have the maze. Then of course, once you do that, you have complete control over the maze as far as complexity as well as custom entry and exit points. 
So you can play with that, and then of course you can see it provides the solution. This, in my opinion, is one of the most powerful things that you could do here to really create something unique and customized. But all the features here inside of Instant Puzzle Mage Generator, even with the basic maze shapes that you get in the front end, are really, really good. So again, click the link in the description. It'll take you over to this page. It'll show you the coloring page images that you'll get, some samples. I'm giving you over 200 of them to really help you get started with mazes and creating books because you can use these images inside of your maze or activity books and all you have to do is click this green button to get it now. It'll take you back to the sales page and all you have to do is scroll down a little bit and click grab your discounted copy now. So click that link, check this out. It really is an amazing tool. If you have been looking at getting into activity books, this is a tool that you're definitely gonna wanna add to your toolbox. Click the link in the description, check it out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.